on a bunch of dudes that are broke bums. Hood dudes from the street, respectfully, I, I'm from the, I be in the street. 90% of them are fronting. They don't got no money. They got a nice fitted that their girl bought them because she works. Most men, guys that are young and think they chilling, they living off of the girl they met. Women nowadays are the household, the provider, the ones that take care of you. They give you everything. <laughs> they give you milk. <laughs> they give you milk. <laughs> and they give you milk. <laughs> they take care of their man. This is facts, bro. I'll never lie to you. So nine times out of ten, He's taking his little money and just buying Jordans, pants, whatever he wants. But then he's stunting like he's a baller and they be broke. I be with dudes and they don't got a dollar, but they got a fly car, everything. Jewelry is not real, bro. It's from the Coliseum on 165 in Jamaica. It may pass the test, even on some testers. I've sold a fake chain to a real jeweler, bro. This is facts. <laughs> and when I took it to one jeweler, he said, it's fake. But if you catch the wrong jeweler, <laughs> meaning the right one, it could pass as gold. Not even 20 minutes later, I got him. It was probably his cousin. <laughs> he didn't call him. He fucked up. Yeah. But these dudes are wearing fake jewelry that don't turn. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because I don't think because you wear a fake chain that you're a sucker. I got sterling steel, um, sterling silver chains. I got stainless steel chains. I got white gold chains. I got pink gold chains. I got my girls like that too. She got gold chains, stainless steel chains. Wear it all at the same time. It don't mean that you can't have. A, does that make you fake? No. What makes you fake is if I ask you, yo, that's gold, which you never gonna ask me that because I'm gonna wire your whole jaw because that's a violation, unless you my friend, friend, right? So, and I say that, you know, um, <laughs> you know, with a joke, because <laughs> entertainment, right? Uh, something I would never do today. But uh, that don't make you fake. When somebody asks you, how much you pay for that chain? And you be like, oh, I paid 20 racks for this. You a liar, bro. You looking at me in my face and lying. That makes you fake. Because if you want to talk about a dude being fake because of the chain that he's wearing, then you got to mention the whole club is wearing fake chains. Your favorite rapper wears fake chains. Bro, people don't get it. 50 Cent explained that his rap career, the chains were all fake with an explanation and nobody said nothing. The, in fact, y'all so whack, not you personally, but his, his people that love him, that they accepted it and they said, oh my God, 50's a genius. <laughs> yeah, and you're an idiot. For all these years, thinking that the G-Unit spin chain was real, you out there selling crack, trying to be like G-Unit, and they were wearing fake jewelry, my dude. Because 50 gave all of them fake jewelry. And then explained it with the notion of, yeah, you know how you get you get the fake one, the duplicate for the write-off, the tax write-off, in case somebody rob it, you still get reimbursed for <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> he played y'all with that. That's why the Kings jumped him and jumped Jim Jones. Facts. Lumped them both up. Get out of here. Because <laughs> they, they dumb. You that, But the reason why he had to cover that up is because Banks was blow um um Buck was blowing it up. Nigga, you gave me a fake chain. And now he explained it. And people were like, oh my God, 50. You did that? That's ingenious. <laughs> You're an idiot, bro. He's ingenious. <laughs> You're a moron. <laughs> he had his whole team rocking fake chains, and you talking about your ingenious. Yeah, he's so ingenious that people died in New York, shot, killed. Sold crack, heroin, burned buildings, bashed cars, stole cars, killed innocent people because they were trying to get a G-Unit chain. And you're like, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, you was probably one of the people admiring to have that chain and trying to sell more bundles. Like, that's crazy, bro. 
This dude just cop to like giving his whole crew fake chains and everybody's like, oh my God, you're so smart. Why couldn't I think of something like that? Mommy, I got you this week. I'm going to buy you the chain that you wanted. I'm going to ask 50 where they sell those plastic G-unit spinner chains. g g g g g g you not Definitely wasn't. I'm taking your fame. Ask me why G unit a G stand for gay. I'm in the Brooklyn like I'm bashing off hole in your face. You acting like you gangster boy erase you in the place. I'm in the building and I just won't stop. Wherever I go better give me my props. When you see me don't say G unit cause 50 Cent know that I'm his pops. Only reason he mad. Cause Duke was born in you know who. And when Duke said don't get mad Prem is probably your father. You got money now. It's time to bomb. You haven't bombed one nigga that did anything to you. You ain't never come back to Jamaica, Queens. They ain't even heard of you. New generation only know you for power, but not the power you have, the power that went sour for you paying your employees less than minimum wage. Yeah, you getting money, but they ain't getting paid. <laughs> your racks is going up. Your stacks are getting bigger. That's why when I see you, the smack is going to be bigger. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. We dropping bombs tonight. Pooh, it's explosive, baby. Also, I wanted to say, Math Hoffa, I respect him. You know why I respect him? He went on this kid's show, and the kid has only 6,000 subscribers, which is huge. If you have 6,000 subscribers, don't ever look at yourself like you're a small channel. Subscribers are overrated with all respects. Right. I know guys that have 20 subs and get 10 million views on a channel. As a matter of fact, let me show you this Coco Smitty. Right. This is a prime example of a of another. Uh, oh, man, I can't show you because it's open here. Fuck. Oh, but I can send it to this. All right. Hold on. So, look, I always do this. I'm going to show you the channel that I just opened. This is a prime example. If if you say if YouTube too saturated, right? Oh, by the way, I meant to tell you guys, every, oh my God, guys, every Thursday, you know, it's Tech Thursdays here. Like tomorrow I come out with new microphones that I bought, things that you could buy that are to acquire that'll help you build your podcast, right? Whether it's audio, visual, I show you how to do a lot of tricks, trades, and whatever. And the links be in the description if you want to get any of the stuff that I've been using for works. And then I show you a bang for your buck. I show you the real good stuff that people think is good because it costs more. Then I give you an alternative link in the description, which is like, let's say if I'm showing this microphone. Now, this microphone, after all said and done, taxes and everything is going to run you $100. No less. Facts. And if they give it to you for less than 100 <laughs> boy, you better question it. It's bootlegged. Facts. It's from 28th Street, 14th Street, 30th Street. But it's from one of them streets. It's not from the company road. So with that being said, I also show you how with a $15 or $14 microphone, you can sound exactly the same. The only thing, the look is different. But that other microphone is good too. And it costs five times less the money. Facts. So you're really paying for the look and to say you have Jordans when Pumas are comfortable. You get it? So I show you both things on Tech for Rec, which is our tech channel, T-E-K, the number four and R-E-K. There's new content now. And I just put up with the motherboard and some other stuff. And there's links in the description. And I just put it to get that channel's algorithm used to like we're coming every day again. So tomorrow there's new content on Tech for Rec. Every day on Tech for Rec, there's new content from now on. And here on Tech Thursdays, we still doing it, right? 3 p.m. and 8.15. Um, our video in the morning probably here too on Tech. So it'd be three things. But what we're going to start doing is one-on-one -on -one classes. You know, I got the join membership. I've been had that for years. It's there, the join button. So if you pay for the three ninety nine, I think it is. I've been had that. I got a lot of members in there. Pretty much, pretty cool, right? A group of people that are my real supporters. I'm gonna start going in there at least two to three times a week, probably two for now, and give ya informative tech and how to grow your own podcast, your own show, and show you stuff. It's not just gonna be reckless tech licks. It's gonna be all right. We're here and we're gonna learn something and. If you want to stay, you stay. So 
over there on the join membership here on the lockout is going to be a lot of like grow your platform type stuff. And if you have a platform and you in the membership, right, I'm going to advertise your platform on my platforms, on my audio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, uh, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Amazon Music, Audible, Stitcher, Overcast, CastBox FM, Player FM, all those uh, hundreds of platforms that we on, I'm going to advertise yours for being a member of On The Lockout and the membership on the tech, on the road to acquiring marketable skills to better our life as human beings here in this living hell. So 